Hey everybody, Terry White here. Thanks for joining me. Today we're gonna to take a look at five reasons why you might consider stepping up to the Peloton Bike Plus over the previous generation Peloton Bike. Let's check it out. I've been a fan of Peloton since July 2020 when we got our first Peloton bike. I was pretty excited about it. Um, the workouts are great, the instructors are great, just the whole experience is great. And you can imagine if a company like Tesla or Apple were to build a bike, this would be it from a design standpoint and an integrated standpoint. However, unfortunately, about 40 days after I got my bike, Peloton introduced a brand new Bike Plus that had a key feature that I wanted. I'll get to that in a minute. Uh, and unfortunately, uh, it was past the 30 day window, so they wouldn't just take it back and let me buy the new one. Uh, and the only thing they offered was a $700, you know, up, you know, buyback price for anyone that had an older bike. Well, I paid a lot more than $700, so I wasn't gonna give it up that easily. So, eight months later, I decided to go ahead and do it, buy the bike plus, but instead of trading in the old bike, I decided to sell it on the open market and I got a decent price for it and I'm very happy. But why would you upgrade? So let's cover those five reasons right now. Reason number one is probably the most visual reason. It has a brand new larger display that actually rotates. The display can rotate a full 360 degrees. Now it won't keep spinning, so it'll go 360 all the way around and stop. Then you can bring it all the way back around and stop. You might be wondering, well, why would you want the screen to face away from the bike or away from you? And that's because Peloton offers other classes. Like you can take a weight class, you can take a cardio class, you can take a yoga or stretching class. You can take all kinds of classes with your membership. And it's great if you could just turn the display to an area of the room where the bike won't be in the way and you can work out and watch the screen and, and listen to the beautiful speakers and all that. The other thing is that it's got brand new, bigger speakers as well in the front, and they're front facing as opposed to the older bike where everything was in the back. So you have a, uh, a, a 2.2 channel front speaker and a 2.2 uh, rear facing subwoofer or woofer. And as opposed to the old bike, which only had the two channel rear facing speaker. So you get much more oomph, much more sound during the workout. Now, if you don't wanna hear that sound, you know, in the open room, you can of course plug in headphones or use Bluetooth, uh, Bluetooth headset or your AirPods or anything else you want. So that's uh, feature number one, just the display rotates. Now feature number two is also along the same lines of the display and that's that the, the display is just bigger. So it's a bigger display at 23.8 inches versus 21.5 inches. Both bikes are at 1080p HD, uh, but you wouldn't think that two inches makes that big of a difference, but it does, especially when I look at my older bike. Well, when I looked at it before I sold it. The older bike, uh, it just, it made the screen on the older one seem small and tiny compared to this new, big, beautiful display. So big, brighter, beautiful display with speakers in the front uh, and touchscreen, of course, 10 point touchscreen. It's amazing uh, from a display standpoint. It's the biggest display I've ever seen on any piece of a workout equipment that I've ever used. All right, so next up, and this is the number one thing that led me to Bike Plus. And that is, I'm an Apple Watch wearer. And for those of you who wear an Apple Watch, you know you're all about, if you're, if you're about fitness, you're all about closing your rings at the end of the day or by the end of the day. And um, the thing that all fitness equipment, the problem that all fitness equipment has is that when you start a workout on your watch or your Fitbit or whatever, it's estimating what you're doing based on maybe your heart rate, based on your weight, your height, your age. It's kind of figuring out, oh, you're probably burning this many calories. You're probably going this far for the amount of time that you did. Well, Apple has a technology built into the watch. And this isn't new. This has been around for uh, at least a couple of years. It's called Gym Kit. And if a manufacturer builds Gym Kit into their workout equipment, Basically, it's an NFC reader, similar to the ones you use when you do Apple Pay, and you just hold your watch up to the display when you're about to do a workout, and it syncs with the watch. It's not estimating, it's not guessing, 
whatever you do on that equipment, whatever you do on that bike plus is recorded calorie for calorie, mile for mile, point for point, cadence for cadence, resistance for resistance, output for output. Everything is recorded exactly as you did it. And I remember when I first experienced this, you can go back and watch my gym kit video from about two years ago. I was on vacation, went to the hotel um, gym and they, all their equipment had gym kit. So I, I used an elliptical machine and the beauty of it is if you stop pedaling, it stopped counting, it paused your workout. So there's no cheating and there's no overestimating or underestimating. You're getting the exact workout. And I don't know, I, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm just a, a fanatic about if it's gonna give me stats, I want those stats to be as correct as possible. Now, it may not seem like it's that big of a deal. Hey, you burned 500 calories, the watch said you burned 550 calories. Well, to me, that's a big deal. I want it to be as accurate as possible. And with the gym kit integration, that's exactly what I get. All right, number four is probably one that I over, or actually underestimated because I didn't think it would be that cool until I actually got it and used it. And it's a feature called Follow Me. It's a little lock icon on the screen. You just tap it, turn it on or off, it's up to you. And what this does is when you're in a class and they're giving out um, a resistance, uh, meaning that you're supposed to dial in the range of resistance that they're giving you. Well, you would always have to do that manually on the bike every time they called out a new resistance throughout the class. Now it will automatically set your resistance to that range and it will default to the middle of the range. You can still dial it down or dial it up. If you think it's too high, you can dial it down. If you think it's too low, you can dial it up. If you can pedal faster, great. Uh, but the fact that I don't have to think about it and my road gets harder or easier based on the instructor is awesome. So I love, love, love the follow me feature. Now, last but not least, it's just overall design tweaks. So for example, the Peloton bike had a camera in it and it was behind the glass and the display. Most people didn't even know it had a camera and you could do a video chat with a buddy while you're doing a workout. But now for privacy reasons, people might be a little freaked out by that. So they might've put a piece of tape over it. Now you can, there's a shutter. You can just close the shutter if you don't want the camera to see you or open. It's a physical shutter. You don't have to worry about, did it really close? You, feel, you physically closed it. So yes, it did. Um, also they moved, uh, or actually they, they changed all the little levers to, to raise or lower the seat or the handlebars or the screen or any of that. Now they're knobs and they're really easy to turn, really easy to lock in place. And those knobs are great. Next up, you'll notice that the headphone jack is now in the front, whereas it used to be on the side of the display. Now I, I don't use wired head, headphones, but if I did, I would definitely appreciate this option or this enhancement that they're now in the front as opposed to the wire going all the way to the side of the display. So it's just not in your way because it's right in the middle. And, um, and also just moving the seat up and down. Again, it's got that cool knob on the front. And if you want to move the seat back or forward, it used to be an, another crank that you would have to unscrew and then screw it back in, uh, hand, hand crank. And now it's just a lever, you pull it down, the seat, the seat can be moved. You, when you get it in place, you just flip it back up. And another thing I didn't notice until I got the bike was that the um, the rear weight holder or you know the, the cradle for the um, hand weights that used to be like a, just a metal rack and it was just it was okay it was but it was kind of sometimes a pain you know making sure you got the weights in there correctly while you're sitting on the bike facing away from it. Now that's plastic, but it's much much easier to get the weights in and out of the holder. So they definitely did a much better job on that. So with that said, those are my five reasons for going with the Bike Plus versus the bike. And if, you know, I, I probably wouldn't recommend too many people that, you know, if these things don't matter to you, you probably don't need to upgrade from your existing bike. Because uh, it, it, it's a costly upgrade because you're gonna have to buy the new one and then deal with getting rid of or trading in or selling your old one. And depending on how old it is, it may be, you know, it may cost you more money uh, and lost value or a lost, um, a lost of an asset. So I would say this is mainly for people that are thinking about buying a new bike. These are reasons why you might want to consider the bike plus versus a bike. And of course, if you're a tech fanatic like I am, then you might also consider an upgrade. Either way, here's my um, referral code. If you use this code when you place your order, 
if you order accessories with your order, you'll get $100 off those accessories. I am not sponsored by Peloton. Peloton did not send me a bike. I wish they did, but I bought both bikes. So bought the bike, sold it, bought the bike plus. So uh, this is all my own money. Nothing to do with Peloton. Peloton probably doesn't even know I exist except just in customer support. All right, so with that said, uh, cheers, everybody. Uh, stay fit, stay safe, and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye, everybody.